how to cartoon yourself in Adobe Character Animator. Start out by taking a selfie. If you're on a Mac, you can just use Photo Booth. Save the selfie to your desktop. Open it up. Using Adobe Photoshop, hit Select Subject, Edit Copy, and then paste into your layered character animator Photoshop file right above the green background. So edit paste and then edit transform scale and you're going to line up the eyes and mouth. So you're going to change the size and position until the eyes and mouth line up with the cartoon eyes and mouth. Then you're going to change the opacity. It's easy to see the lines that you're drawing in the layer above. Then you're going to go to the head layer and I would erase the egg shape of the head layer first and then you're going to take the brush tool and you're going to uh, just outline or, or draw the entire person, cartoon person. Uh, make sure that your brush settings are set so that the um, the hardness is at 100% and the brush width is at maybe between 7 and 9 pixels. And you're going to just trace over your entire person. Periodically hide the photograph so you can see what you're doing and how your finished cartoon looks. And make sure that all your lines are closed, forming closed shapes, so that when you go to color you can hit edit fill and it'll just fill in the specific areas that you want. So I'm just finishing up my cartoon now. I'm not going to draw the eyes or the mouth because those have to be in separate layers um, to be used in Character Animator because Character Animator is going to track the mouth movements and eye movements. So they need to be in separate layers. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my design. Uh, don't forget to add a nose. I almost did. And then you're going to go back to the layer with the photograph in it and you're going to put the opacity at 100% and you're going to change the foreground color by using the eyedropper tool so that you get the exact color that you are. So you just go change foreground color, use the eyedropper tool, and then you're going to go back up to the layer where you just drew your cartoon. You're going to select areas with a magic wand and do edit fill till you get all the colors you want. Um, and this do the same for all the different parts of the hair, the shirt, etc. I, for I forgot to draw my nose, so I'm going to get rid of that color, go ahead and draw my nose, and then add that color back in. But once you have everything colored in completely and you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can go to the photograph layer and actually delete it or hide it completely. And once you're satisfied with your entire cartoon and it's the way you want, uh, all colored in, you're going to rename and save your Photoshop file. Keep it as a layered Photoshop file, just rename and save it. Now at this point, if you want to, you can go into the eyes and change the eyes by going to those layers, um, but you have to be in the correct layer to do it. So if you're changing the eyebrows, you have to go to the eyebrow layer. If you're changing the right eyebrow, um, the right and left are reversed in Character Animator, so what looks like the right eyebrow to you, you would click left eyebrow. What looks like the left eyebrow to you, you would click right eyebrow. But you can go to those specific layers, erase what's already there, and change them. Uh, please be aware that the pupil and the eye are in different layers and the eyebrows are in different layers. Um, with the mouth, you would have to open up the entire mouth layer and go to each different sound and change it. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to save it, rename it, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up Character Animator. And I'm going to um, create a new project and I'm going to bring my puppet into the project and you'll see how it looks and how it syncs with my mouth movements. We'll cover rigging in a different video, but you can definitely see how if you, if you go up to the little camera on the right hand side and you set the rest pose and you begin talking that the lip movements and uh, your voice actually sync up with each other. Then you just hit record and you can record your video. Or you can use a 
uh, voiceover recording that you did previously and bring it into your timeline and have your mouth movements sync to that. But we'll talk about that in another video.